another skit that we did in the theater, which wound up in our the first movie we worked on, which is called Kentucky Fried Movie. Um, there was a skit where uh, a boy and a girl are watching a monitor. They're watching a, a news broadcast, and then they start to make out in front of the news broadcaster, and the news broadcaster notices what they're doing and reacts to them making out, and that wound up being yeah. a little more elaborate than Kentucky Fried Movie. But those are the kind of things that we, we did on stage. And after a while, we, we at first, it, it, not many people came. But after a while, it would sell out, and of course, we had the steep uh, ticket price of $1. Wow. Yeah, no. You weren't in it for the money. Though. What year was this, if I may ask? 70s? Something. 70. Okay. Yes. Now, by chance, do you have any of the old films? Oh, that would be good. You, well, that yeah. one is available. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, it's, David. Like any, especially the really early stuff when you guys were kids. Yeah, that's what or, I yeah. David has always been <clears throat> what we call... <clears throat> The keeper of the archives. Okay. Right. Lots of it. <laughs> Excuse me. And we still get to, Dave and Jerry and I get together all the time. Good. We live close by and we're big Packer fans and whatnot. So we watch Packer games together and uh and we'll reminisce and David has all of, or a, a lot of it on still he had it transferred from the old VHS stuff, so it's it's still preserved, and every once in a while we'll, we'll, we'll get some. Somebody's going to do a documentary on the yeah. evolution of your thing, and then uh, release that. I think that'd be a lot of interest in that. Yeah, yeah definitely. I know I want yeah. Now, David must have seen that you had a sense of humor. He didn't just I don't just randomly go up to my friends and say I have some video equipment. Do you want to go? I mean, you must, he must have seen that you had a sense of humor or something. Yeah, I guess we we all did. I don't know. I mean, we all goofed off a lot in high school, mm -hmm. as much as you know you could back then. There's a, actually, <laughs> I think they still do. <laughs> they, yeah, still do. they still do. <laughs> yeah, there's a story we tell in the book about. It. We went to Shorewood High School, and Shorewood High School had the top floor was this big dome ceiling and so what they did to kind of uh, help the acoustics is they put a big American flag to in, in the dome ceiling to kind of just keep it from echoing when you were in a class there and one time there was a substitute teacher and she said okay she I wasn't sure what went on in this class. And she said, so how do you, you know, what do you do? Or ask for something like that. And one of the kids in the class, not me, but this is like, this is, anyone could have said this. One of the kids said, well, we start by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. So in order to do that, we have to lie down on the floor to face the flag. To say the <laughs> so everybody in the class laid down and she did too <laughs> so, that, I mean, I, so I don't think there was anything unusually funny about Dave and Jerry and me it's just all the other kids found good jobs and <laughs> anything else to do. you had nothing better to do huh yeah right <laughs> That's funny. Around. How'd you get from um, Kentucky Fried Theater, which is in Madison, right, all right. the way to Los Angeles? How'd you sell that on, or how how did it come to be? Well, we sort of had a goal. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be on the Tonight Show. That was that was it. That's a huge so, goal. Yeah, back then yeah, it was. was. So we packed up a U-Haul with all of our chairs and video <laughs> equipment. And I only had a motorcycle back then. So we put that on there. And Dave and Jerry both had cars. And there was another guy whose name was Dick Shutdown, who was also a Milwaukee guy. And we drove out to uh, LA and we found a, a, a vacant drug habilita rehabilitation 
center that was all gnarly and whatnot, but we could rent it for $300 a month. So we rented it and fixed it up and made it in both into a theater on the ground floor and upstairs there was a an apartment so we lived upstairs and it was cheap 300 bucks a month and we opened the theater it, it just i think at first we, we couldn't afford any publicity so we'd go over to ucla the theater was on the west side of la not too far from ucla we figured our audience was mostly college-age kids so we'd go over to ucla and give away tickets and stuff like that and a few people would show up but um actually at the beginning so <laughs> at the beginning the audience would be so small that there were more of us in the show than people in the audience <laughs> so i've seen the, plays so, like that that's okay yeah, that's yeah. Okay. That's okay though. Yeah. But you're into it. <laughs> but um, yeah. were you guys working on the side, or how how are you paying for even the three hundred dollars a well, month? That's I cool. had saved up with my private investigator money. Okay, I saved up some money, and David had saved up, but you know, like a few thousand dollars. And uh, I think Jerry borrowed money from his parents, and it was pretty smart <clears throat> uh, living at the beginning. The shows when they were audiences were that small after the show ended we take them up and show them show them our apartment mm. upstairs and it was really but eventually what happened is some media started to find out about us and we would get reviews and mm. eventually the la times found out and came and saw it and just wrote this unbelievable review that was it was so much fun. It was so positive that mm -hmm. after that, we never had an empty seat in the house. Nice. The theater held, um, well, depending, the theater held 120 unless there was going to be a fire inspection when we would get it down <laughs> to 99. Okay. okay. So, but after the LA Times review and some other reviews in the LA area started to show up, and we were full all the time. We you had to get a bigger well, place. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was the timeline from when you arrived in LA, yeah. uh, redid that uh, theater to yeah. the LA Times article? Yeah. Like, how long did you have to persevere? <laughs> I, th I think it took like three months of renovating the theater and then maybe another three months until yeah. the Alpha time showed up oh, so, wow that's really good yeah. that's pretty uh expedited in yeah he must have had a good thing yeah going. six months yeah. is not that entertainment long. yeah <laughs> no it didn't good that long. yeah it didn't seem that long to us and eventually we even got on the tonight show hey if you like these kind of conversations and you'd like to see more click like and subscribe to our channel and if you're at the computer and you'd like to hear the whole podcast, click right here.